laser is called the PicoShore laser. It's the first of its kind and has the newest technology to target pigment on the skin. The reason why I love it so much and what sets it apart from other lasers is the fact that it's a photoacoustic laser rather than getting rid of pigment on the skin through heat. The reason why this is important is because this therefore causes limiting side effects and post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, which is exactly what we don't want because we're trying to target pigment on the skin, not cause it. This is especially important for those individuals who are skin of color, like Hispanics, African Americans, and even Asian descent patients. So I love to use it for a variety of different skin conditions that have pigment. Some of the most popular ways that we use this laser in the office are to treat conditions like melasma, to get rid of tattoos. It's in fact one of the newest technologies and fastest ways to get rid of tattoos. In addition to that, we use it to treat post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation from eczema or acne, and even for benign moles that are unsightly or unpleasing to some patients and they want it cosmetically removed. I'm gonna take you through myself performing this procedure on one of my lovely patients next. So I'm here today with my lovely patient, Courtney, and today she wants to treat a benign mole that's on her finger that bothers her a lot, especially when she wears rings. So first and foremost, despite the fact that this laser is extremely safe with guaranteed results, I want to make sure that we're wearing eye protective gear. So Courtney here is wearing her goggles that are extremely important for protection and I will put on my goggles. Additionally, we've numbed Courtney with topical cream and it takes about 20 minutes to settle in and we can go ahead and get started now. Okay, so are you ready Courtney? Yeah. Great. I've gone ahead and started the procedure and as you can tell that ticking noise that you hear is the laser working and it's perfectly normal. I'll intermittently stop and check and look at the lesion that I'm trying to target in order to determine if there's a response. An adequate response for this type of lesion would be some slight redness or gray tinge. In contrast, if I'm using this laser to remove a tattoo, then I would expect to see a white frosted appearance along the tattoo pigment. Given that Courtney is numb, she's experiencing minimal pain. Over the next one to two days, she may see some slight redness and swelling. Over the next week or so, the lesion that I just targeted may look darker in appearance, and that's perfectly normal but over the next month or so, the body will resorb the pigment. And I'll be explaining that to her as well. So today, Courtney, I wanna to talk to you about some post-procedure instructions. What you can expect to see is a little bit of redness, a little bit of swelling for maybe one to two days, but tops, that's gonna to be gone. Over the next four to six weeks, the pigment will slowly start to resorb on the skin. It's important that you keep this area really well moisturized and that you're very diligent with sunscreen. There's really minimal pain. I don't think that you should expect any, but if you do, feel free to always give us a call with any questions or concerns. It might take another one or two sessions to completely get rid of the pigment, but after that, you should be good to go. Okay. And just as a side note, for patients who have melasma, it might take up to six treatments or maybe one or two more in order to completely get rid of that area of concern. And for tattoo removals, it really depends on how large the tattoo is in order to determine how many sessions you need. So each patient requires an individualized approach. Do you have any questions for me today, Courtney? Awesome, so I'll see you soon, four weeks. Thank you. Thank you.